The Ukrainian occupation of the town of Sudza in the Kursk region looks like an ominous boomerang of Putin's propaganda. While the Kremlin claims that it is returning originally Russian lands, the Ukrainian armed forces have taken control of a city that was once Ukrainian and was only fully Russified in the 20th century, writes The Guardian. Popular blogger and historian Evgeny Murza came to Sudza to film the next episode of his historical and humorous program on the spot. Telling his subscribers about the Ukrainian roots of Sudza, Murza notes that at the beginning of the 20th century, 61% of Sudza residents spoke Ukrainian. This excursion into history is not needed to advance Ukrainian claims to Sudza, but to show how absurd and hypocritical are Russian claims to part of Ukrainian territory. They always talk about Crimea or other places that they say were cut off from Russia during the Soviet era and added to Ukraine, but they never talk about the places that were taken from Ukraine and added to Russia, Moza told The Guardian. In Sudza, as in most of the Russian territories bordering Ukraine, many older people still speak Ukrainian or a mixture of the two languages known as Suzik. I think the old people I met there probably spoke better Ukrainian than I did, said one soldier from a Russian-speaking family in eastern Ukraine who patrolled the streets of Sudza. Many families are scattered on both sides of the border, which has caused them trouble in recent years. Nadezda, who asked that her last name not be used, was born in Sudza and lived there until she was 18, but then moved to the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv to attend university and stayed there. Before the full-scale invasion in 2022, she returned to Sudza every year, where she would argue with her mother and brother, both ardent Putin fans. After 2022, the relationship broke down completely. At first, they kept saying all this, that we were shooting at ourselves. After a while, we just stopped communicating, the woman said. When the Ukrainians occupied Sudza, her mother and brother fled to Kursk, where they are now in temporary housing, and again got in touch with Nadezda. My mother said that after the Kursk operation, many people changed their minds. On television, everything was optimistic and now they have lost their homes. I said, Mom, from the first day of the war, I try to tell you that war is pain. It is terrible. It is not about cheerful war songs. Now I think they understand a little, but I do not believe that they will ever fully understand what their state and their people have done, says the Kharkov resident. Nadezda said that her mother grew up speaking Ukrainian, but now speaks mostly Russian. Among the younger generation in Sudza, almost no one speaks Ukrainian. According to Murza, this trend, as well as the fact that the Sudza Museum says nothing about the city's Ukrainian past, should serve as a warning about what could happen to other areas that are now being Russified. Look at what is happening in the occupied territories of Ukraine, where propaganda tells people that they are all Russian and everything Ukrainian is artificial. In a few decades, this will all become deeper. It will be like Sudza and no one will remember anything, the historian warns. A wildfire in California's Highland area, fueled by intense heat and dry conditions, has rapidly expanded as ABC7 Los Angeles captured aerial footage of the blaze. Mandatory evacuations are expanding as the brush fire burns in the foothills of a national forest east of Los Angeles. Tens of thousands of homes and other buildings are being threatened by the so-called line fire. The blaze was burning uncontrolled along the edge of the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Lane. As of Sunday morning, the blaze had charred about 27 square miles of grass and chaparral. The cause is under investigation. More than 600 firefighters were battling the blaze, along with water-dropping helicopters and other aircraft. Temperatures in the area were expected to soar into the triple digits as Southern California experiences a days-long heat wave. 